good evening everyone are you able to hear me properly am i clearly audible please make sure yes am i audible good evening tushar manav lokesh dhruvi anish taruna all right i hope you all did well in your uh, language paper and what all we discussed yesterday was useful to you uh but see one thing i would like to tell you children gone is gone past is gone right whatever you had to do in language that has already been done now please don't think anything about that paper don't discuss it anymore because now we have to focus on literature which is there tomorrow right so we have to prepare for literature please uh be conscious about that be focused on that uh so we'll discuss about literature paper so first of all i want to know see you have three texts i can say like one is the tempest poet, po, uh, poetry is there like five poems are there in your syllabus and then five stories so which one do you find the most difficult come on which one you find the most difficult yeah i saw the paper the paper was really good it was uh, well predicted um uh, tushar miss if we have written 1.5 pages please let us uh, not discuss about what has been done what all you have done is good right believe me and believe yourself right believe in yourself what all you have done is fine uh, don't discuss about uh, language now yes we have to discuss about literature so uh, mostly i can see that most of you are saying that it's poetry 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 that you find the most difficult you know majority uh, see for the tempest now uh, now see children tomorrow is your exam you have very short time to revise everything and for that my advice is see this time the pattern is entirely different because this time you will be getting 20 marks paper for uh, mcqs and complete the sentences right so yeah i am telling you what is to be prepared today don't worry so 20 marks paper is going to be there objective type where you will get 10 mcqs and 10 completion of sentences and that completion of sentences will be based on reasoning only right so for that you need to have thorough uh, knowledge of the text now i know that at this point of time it will not be possible that way you know to revise the whole tempest to revise the whole tempest you can just watch my videos there is no other option for you uh, so if you are not very much thorough with it see if you have done it earlier if you have done the tempest earlier you have read it clearly uh, thoroughly and uh, you know then it's fine you need not to do it again but stories and poems you should read once again beta to uh, do objective type properly you will have to be thorough with the text right so that text has to be revised to do the objective type questions and as far as five markers and 10 markers are concerned uh, we may uh, you know for that i will tell you how to answer and which are the important questions which you need to focus upon right okay anish is saying not done act 5 properly why not please do uh, there is a video it, there is only one scene in act 5 so you may listen to the video also beta i have posted it on youtube you can go through that that will be sufficient for you but please don't leave anything see this time uh, there is no choice like you see from every section you are going to get four uh, two five markers and two 10 markers the choice is there only in 10 markers there is no choice in five markers right so please uh, don't leave anything okay don't think that out of five poems we should do only four or three or out of five stories we should do only three or four no see you will be getting four questions on four text out of five so you need not to uh, predict now uh, let us discuss first of all 
I would like to revise, you know, some uh, MCQs with you because you see children, I have prepared these MCQs since morning. Epilogue bhi karna hai. Beta, epilogue ke bahut kam chances hai aane ke. Uh, you know, that way epilogue has, I don't think that you will be getting a question on it. But you can give it a reading, how long it will take you that way. Okay, if something is asked in MCQs, you never know. For MCQs and completion of sentences, you may never pr predict. But yes, of course, let me tell you one liners. Ma'am, I face one problem. I understand the text and poem easily, but I am not able to answer. I am able to connect my answer with the question. Ma'am, please suggest me a solution. Okay, Mana, uh, why are you not able to answer? Means you are not able to connect my answer with the question. Okay, see, when I am going to discuss 5 markers and 10 markers with you, should I begin with that only? Should I begin with that? Okay, so, ठीक है, मैं आपको पहले यही बता देती हूँ, uh, how to do these questions. Okay, let's discuss poetry first, poetry and stories. Hmm. See, the poems that you have in syllabus are The Darkling Thrush by Thomas Hardy, Birches by Robert Frost, Crossing the Bar by Alfred Lord Tennyson, Dover Beach by Matthew Arnold, We Are the Music Makers by Arthur William Edger. Okay, children, one thing I want to, uh, I want you to understand. See, before every poem in your, uh, this thing, wait, I want to show you something. This is your book, this is your reverie and before every poem, uh, you know, the introduction of the writer which is given to you, the last paragraph of every poem and every story is about that particular poem and particular about that particular story, right? So, this is the most important paragraph. Hamesha yaad rakhna, jo textbook aapka prescribed hota hai na, wo book sabse important hota hai, kisi bhi paper mein. Okay, so uh, now you see, for example, if I talk about, I am just telling you how you can use this last paragraph, how is it important. See, for example, I am telling you from the darkling thrush it is given. The darkling thrush is a nature poem, please underline, with the theme of hope, hope underline. The poem begins with a bleak picture of despair and dejection, despair and dejection underline, as the poet describes in lyrical Descriptive detail, the dying of the old world at the turn of the century. Please underline, dying of the old world at the turn of the century. Now, all these poems, sorry, all these lines which I have asked you to underline, these are all important lines. Important from what perspective they are important as these are the themes. You may always get a question. You will get a question on these things only. Number one, nature poem. How is nature used in this poem? Then theme of hope. How is this theme of, theme of hope is the most important theme that is found in this poem. Okay. Then how it begins with the bleak picture of despair and dejection. This is the mood of the poet. This is the mood of the poet. Despair and dejection. Despair means sadness, disappointment, dejection, sorrow. Okay. Then dying of the old world at the turn of the century. This is the background. Right. Then he finds little cause for hope or joy around him. Suddenly he hears the song of a songbird. This is the song of a thrush which spreads warmth and hope into the earlier desolate and dead landscape. The poet finds his spirits rising and with it the realization that there is still hope and joy in the world. Now, you know, I am telling you this is a kind of formula which you must apply to revise at the last moment. This last paragraph which is given in the introduction, before this you have the introduction of the poet or the author, but after this, this last paragraph is the most important. If you can mug it up, please do that, okay, because the questions are going to be asked from this thing only, because everything, what all is important in that particular uh, piece of literature, important from your examination point of view has been given over here. Are you getting my point? Yes, theme of hope is born by old birds singing in contrast to its aged frail. Yes, right, yes. Ma'am, will ISC give marks for English 1 or behave like schools cutting marks? Beta, English 1, forget English 1 now. We have to talk about English 2, right? Then what should be an average length of a 10 marks question? I will come to that. I will come to that. Don't worry. 
सो फॉर स्टोरीज एंड पोम्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू मैं अभी सिर्फ ये एक घंटे का सेशन लूंगी जिसमें मैं आपको ये बताऊंगी कि किस तरह से आपको सारे क्वेश्चन को रिवाइज करना है मतलब आपको सेल्फ स्टडी में क्या क्या पढ़ना है तो सबसे पहले टेम्पेस्ट अगर आपने ऑलरेडी कर रखी है यू नीड नॉट टू डू इट अगेन ओके बट ये स्टोरीज एंड पोम्स यू मस्ट गिव दे रीडिंग राइट कैन वी जस्ट कॉपी इट एज इट इज ये यू कैन यू कैन यूज इट इन योर आंसर्स The lines that have been given in the text can be used in your answers, beta. They can easily be used. Now let me tell you, your literature paper will be divided like the first section is the compulsory section, which is uh, objective type, ten marks MCQs and ten marks uh, completion of sentences. That is for reasoning, which is there, right? Uh, after that, you will be getting all three sections: section one, tempest, then stories, then poetry, and in that two five markers and Two ten marks questions will be there. Uh, those you will get choice only in ten marks questions, right? So, चलिए अब मैं आपको सबसे पहले ये बताती हूँ कि आपको किस तरह से uh, questions prepare करने हैं. Uh, let's talk about the darkling thrush. See, there I have already given a video on important questions. ये वो ही questions हैं बेटा, जिनको मैं यहाँ पर discuss करने जा रही हूँ. The first is describe bleak picture of the day as described by the poet. So, it is about nature. अगर नेचर से रिलेटेड कोई भी क्वेश्चन आता है तो उसमें आप इसी को आंसर करेंगे राइट सो यू हैव टू डिस्क्राइब द एटमोस्फेयर सो एज यू कैन सी द एटमोस्फेयर सी ही वाज देयर बाय ही वाज स्टैंडिंग लेंट अपॉन अ वुडन गेट द फ्रॉस्ट वाज स्पेक्टर ग्रे हाँ विंटर्स ड्रेग्स ड्रेग्स मीन्स रिमेन्स रूइंस मेड डेसोलेट द वीकनिंग आई ऑफ डे वीकनिंग आई ऑफ डे हियर रेफर्स टू सन तो सन द एटमोस्फेयर दैट ही इज क्रिएटिंग यू नो ऑल दैट कम्स अंडर नेचर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट दैट हाउ डज द एटमोस्फेयर सडनली चेंज वेन ही हियर्स द सॉन्ग ऑफ द थ्रश देन वट आर द पोएट्स फीलिंग एट द एंड ऑफ द पोम सी नंबर टू नंबर वन ही गेट्स अ होप एंड देन अनदर द रियलाइजेशन दैट देर इज समथिंग विच आई एम नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड बट द Bird is able to understand in a better way. There is a gradual shift from gloomy despair to sense of hopefulness. So, see, you read the poem, and if you have any notes or you can uh, search on Google also, you can always do it with the help of uh, these questions, right? So, you can watch my video, that video in which you know uh, the questions have been given. So, these questions only, beta, they are more than sufficient for you. okay they are more than sufficient for you to discuss right bleak picture uh, described by frost was specter gray yes yes okay ma'am can we listen to audio books of all stories yes you can yes you can it'll be it'll be ma'am can theme related questions can can come it's not better can come they will come <laughs> only theme related questions you are going to get okay especially in poetry especially in poetry you will definitely get theme related questions ma'am can i study paraphrase paraphrase for dover beach because i can't do it beta it is a sh uh, short uh, poem why can't you do it yeah you can study paraphrase not a problem you can always study that right now please understand the five marks questions which you are going to get your answer has to be very to the point दे कैन बी बिटवीन टू हंड्रेड टू टू फिफ्टी वर्ड आपको कोई बहुत लेंदी आंसर उसमें लिखने की जरूरत नहीं है आपको उसमें टेक्सुअल कोर्ट्स भी देने की बहुत ज्यादा जरूरत नहीं है राइट बट वेन टेन मार्क्स क्वेश्चन विल बी देर देन यू प्लीज गिव वन और टू कोर्ट्स ऑल्सो एंड फॉर कोर्ट्स ऑल्सो आई हैव टोल्ड यू हाउ इट इज टू बी डन आई हैव मेड अ स्पेसिफिक वीडियो वाई सो मच फर्स अबाउट टेक्सुअल कोर्ट्स सो हाउ यू आर सपोज टू गिव कोर्ट्स दैट कैन बी डन Miss, do we have to learn poetry by heart? No, no need to learn it by heart. One or two lines, important lines, you can do that. What is the moral of the tempest, ma'am? See, there is no moral that way. But yes, the poet, uh, sorry, the playwright has uh, depicted various shades of characters. Okay, character sketches are very important. Beta, always remember, characters are very important. So from the tempest, you may get one character. Okay. uh caliban's character is important prospero's character is also important ma'am in stories theme will come of course all questions that you are going to get are going to be theme based questions only okay how many points for each see it's not about points it's about relevance of points i have told you that earlier also uh 
uh, for this I would like to discuss uh, the pattern is there then let me tell you uh, we are <clears throat> okay see uh, short answer type questions five, 5 marks questions number one understanding of the text is required to answer these questions the length of the answer should be between 150 to 200 see it is just an idea 150 to 200 it can be 250 also straight away answer what is asked in question no need for an introduction in these questions number of points are not so important but the relevance of points is very important okay relevance of points is important please understand right okay then uh, Tushar is saying, Miss, I know the whole poem, but I am unable to write a big answer. It's okay, beta. Five marks questions, five marks questions are not supposed to be very big, right? Then textual quotes are not necessary to be given in these five marks question. Ha, ye hai prospero jo impermanence wala batata hai, wo pakka yaad kar lena. Bilkul beta, wo aapka, it is very important, okay? Last moment pe tempest kaise revise karein? Please bata dijiye. See, if you have got some notes ready, that is good enough. Right? And then I have given some questions also. Banquet scene, mask scene, bhoat important scenes hai. Jo questions beta mene aapko, ye jo mein aapko yaha par bhi show kar rhi hoon, there is a separate video, important questions from the tempest. Aap inke points tayyar kar lijiye. Okay? Write the points only and you revise those points. Right? Okay. Now, long answer type questions. Uh, first of all, please understand they are high order thinking questions. High order thinking means somehow you need to uh, know beyond the text. Beyond the text in a way you must be very well familiar with the theme, background, setting. That is very important. Understanding of the text and critical analysis is required. No word limit is there. They can be as long as you want. Brief introduction is important with reference to the context of the question. Right? Ma'am, can you tell some of the important quotes that we should memorize? See, from every chapter, uh, of course, one or two lines you, you will be needing. Okay? Yes, follow PEE. -E. This formula you should always remember, beta. Those who are saying we don't know how to write answers, uh, you know, Dhruvi is also saying I am unable to write the answer. So, beta, you should follow this formula for this PEE, -E, point, evaluation or you can also call it explanation and then evidence. Point, for example, if you are writing character sketch of Miranda, right, and you say that Miranda is an obedient uh, girl or, uh, you know, she is very innocent. You are giving the point that Miranda is very innocent. This is your point. Now, you need to explain it how you can say that she is very innocent. Okay, the way she listens to her father and she agrees with whatever her father says and uh, she is the one who has not seen any other human being uh, than her father. So, this way we know, come to know that she doesn't know the ways of the world and therefore is very innocent, right? Now, evidence, for that you need to uh, give textual quote. Now, I have already told you if you don't remember the quote, you know, exactly word to word, it's fine. Whatever you know from the text, you just write it down. Do you understand? Okay. So, for long questions also, I have given a list of questions from the Tempest that uh, you should be able to know. And from Reverie and po uh, Echoes also, I gave a list of questions from each and every chapter. So, you please prepare your points on these questions only. They are more than sufficient, beta. If you prepare these questions pe points, karke jate hai, to, uh, 100% mein se aega, I guarantee you that. Okay? So, please, you just prepare your points on these questions. Right? Oh, today did all those past year's questions from your channel and transformations. You are most welcome. I am happy to know that you were able to do things, uh, you know, you were able to do the paper. Uh, that's very good. But now please focus on literature only. Ma'am, how to know that a particular point should be included in the answer to get marks? Rachit, this is not class 10 exam. Okay, this, this thing, 
see this was there in uh, those three marks or four marks question three marks means three points four marks means four points yahan par aisa formula nahi hoga ke five marks question five points ten marks question ten points 10 मार्क्स के क्वेश्चन में आपके मैक्सिमम थ्री पॉइंट्स होंगे लेकिन वो थ्री पॉइंट्स को आपको एक्सप्लेन करना और टेक्सुअल कोड से जस्टिफाई करने पर आपका वो पॉइंट काउंट होगा ठीक है तो व्हेन यू रीड द क्वेश्चन वट यू नो अबाउट द क्वेश्चन यू जस्ट राइट इट डाउन वट यू नो अबाउट द क्वेश्चन जो उसमें पूछा गया है उसके बारे में आपको जो भी पता है आप लिख दीजिए ओके मैम कैन बी हाईलाइट द की पॉइंट एंड इफ द की पॉइंट इज नॉट विच हाईलाइटेड मार्क्स विल बी डिडक्टेड no 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 even if you highlight them that's fine even if you don't highlight them the examiner is going to read your whole answer just remember do you understand if the point is there you will definitely be given marks whether you highlight it or you don't highlight it right so sometimes you are highlighting a point but that is not a point to be given the mark then you won't be given marks so if you are highlighting it gives a good impression on the examiner that is fine but even if you don't highlight it doesn't make any difference Miss, you could could you provide their answers? See, providing the answers, how will it be possible? How will it be possible now? But yes, uh, uh, see, prepare the points, beta. Prepare the points. Okay, okay. Now let's do some questions. Uh, I have prepared some uh, MCQs and all, uh, which I think uh, will be able to help you. So, see, the first poem that we have. is the darkling thrush i want i i want your answers these are you know somehow a kind of difficult questions which i have tried to give why are you not able to see it let me check once okay all right yes okay now look at the first question these are the questions from the darkling thrush i am expecting your answers children which of the following establishes the setting of the poem uh the setting of the poem a coppice gate household fire frost was specter gray and strings of broken lyre yes which which uh, establishes the setting of the poem a a coppice gate no third yes frost was a specter gray setting means background beta setting means background first cannot be the answer coppice gate means wooden gate you have to talk about the background setting batani hai aapko ki inme se kaun sa poem ki setting ke bare mein bata raha hai that is third option frost was specter gray okay what kind of poem is the darkling thrush an ode an elegy war poem or fable yes it's an elegy it's an elegy second is the answer all right third which of the following words best expresses the meaning of outland outland yeah revived leaning out on display escaped leaning out correct very good most of you are doing it correct where was the poet leaning upon a wall huge iron gate wooden gate a boundary wall yes a wall huge iron gate wooden gate boundary wall answer the next now beta answer the fourth yes it's wooden gate coppice gate means wooden gate okay the poet symbol symbolically mounds what does he mound uh, the dimming of light the passing of an era people returning home and seeking household fire the onset of winter yes this is the passing of an era he is mourning over the passing of an era okay what is meant by winter's dregs made desolate winter's dregs made desolate winter is drawing to its close and making everyone cheerless winter makes everyone cheerless winter is approaching winter is drawing to its close yes 
Which one is the answer for sixth? Tell me. Option one, correct. Both things, winters, dregs, made desolate. Dregs means now it is drawing to a close. So remains, winters remains, made desolate means making everyone cheerless. Okay, which bird song make the poet hopeful? Falcon, thrush, crow, sparrow. Yeah, second is the right answer. Thrush is that bird. Now, look at the question carefully. Which is not the theme of the poem? Which is not the theme of the poem? Despair and isolation, nature, futility of war, hope and renewal. Yes, which is not the theme of the poem? Yes, I am expecting the answer for this eighth question. Futility of war, correct. Futility of war is not the theme. Otherwise, despair and isolation is the theme. Nature is the theme and hope and renewal is the theme, correct. Okay, now look at the ninth. Identify the figure of speech. Frost was spectre grey. Metaphor, alliteration, simile, personification. Frost was spectre grey. Yes. Yes, answer for ninth. Beta, this is fourth personification. Okay. Next, what is not true about the setting of the poem? What is not true about the setting of the poem? Leafless trees of December, chirping of birds, grey landscape of winter dusk. Frost covering trees and land. What is not true? Please understand. So, chirping of birds is not true because it is not given. Chirping of birds is not true. Okay. Deep Sindhu, you are asking ma'am how? Which question are you asking for beta? Please let me know which question you are asking for. Leafless trees of December. Why? See, what is not true? So, uh, uh, leafless trees of December has been talked about. It's, the, it's December, it's winter. Winter is going, you know. So, it's the last, last month of the year. Right? So, that is there in the setting of the poem. Chirping of birds is nowhere. Only thrush's song is there. Otherwise, chirping of birds have not been talked about. Okay. The poet wrote to express his feelings when the world was entering 17th century, 19th century, 20th or uh, 21st. Yes. When the world was entering, tell me. Ma'am, can you tell whether to write 10 marks? Question in points or in para. Better 10 marks questions, 5 marks questions have to be written only in paragraph. You are not supposed to write literature answers in points. Okay. Yes, 20th century is the right answer. What type of imagery is used in line? The, in, the tangled fine stems scoring the sky. Tactile, olfactory, visual, auditory. Yes, tangled fine stems, it's, it's visual imagery, visual imagery because you can see it. Okay, in the poem, what is the bird symbolic of? Courage, promise, hope, despair. How is it auditory? Can you listen? No, it is visual beta. Auditory imagery is when you can... Uh, imagine the sound. There is no sound. Tangled fine stems. It is visual imagery. Okay. Yes, Deep Sindhu, I will try to. In the poem, what, what is the bird symbolic of? Bird is symbolic of hope. The broken lyre is a classical, is a classic image of lack of joy in poet's vision of life, disharmony, alienation. 
first and second both first and second so fourth is the right answer okay who is moaning at the burial of corpse poet wind thrush cloud wind is moaning at the burial of corpse what is the significance of the line the ancient pulse of germ and birth the cycle of birth and life plant cycle perseverance man and nature the cycle of birth and life why had people sought their household fires the cold forbidding atmosphere drove them inside they sought the warmth and fellowship of their own their household fires were their only source of hope and sustenance all of the above so it is because of the cold the first one the cold forbidding atmosphere drove them inside yes which of the following is not an example of antiquated diction antiquated diction means old fashioned antiquated is old fashioned old fashioned word which is not an old fashioned word winters drags bind stems coppice gate cops outland yes yeah bind stems is the right answer it is not antiquated okay see i have tried to uh, give some uh, completion of sentences also the poet the poet is gloomy and morose because the century is ending and he is full of doubts and despair the eye of the day is weakening because it is a winter evening when the sun is not so bright okay in the poem the poet laments the transition from victorian period because the transition was full of doubts uncertainties and sadness the poet the people sought their household fire because it was extremely cold and they returned their homes in the evening to comfort themselves right okay now let us have some questions from uh, birches okay what is the setting of the poem birches what is the setting woods where hemlocks grow and island far away from humanity a birch filled forest during winter flower garden on the outskirt of a village hmm so it is a birch filled forest a birch filled forest during winter yeah one thing i want to tell you children when you do these mcqs please write the options only like you write it like this for example i am just giving you the example and the answer of first question is 3 so you just write the options in front of it what are birches singing birds willow trees forest trees with slender branches fern so third is the answer so you just write answers like this are you getting my point please write the answers like this only uh you should write the option only correct option okay next is third identify the figurative language that the lines exhibit it's when i am aware when i am weary of considerations and life is too much like pathless wood simile metaphor manav is saying uh, 1850 to 1900 so after 1900 beta 1901 is the 20th century century is counted one year ahead, one uh, that ahead in the 20th century means 1901 will fall into 20th century okay yes identify the figurative language that lines exhibit so here it is a uh, simile like the pathless wood like pathless wood simile has been used here not launching out too soon this should be learnt to avoid a fall to remain on top to escape the troubles on earth a little longer not to uproot the tree yes so to avoid a fall first is the answer the poem centers around the experience of dreaming around about birches singing on birches 
difference between metaphor and simile simile is when we compare with the use of as or like like he was he fought like a lion in the battlefield but when uh, we use applied simile he was a lion in the battlefield he was a lion in the battlefield means of course he was like a lion but instead of saying like a lion we are calling him a lion so that is applied simile okay is metaphor applied simile is metaphor simile is comparison with use of as or like these words will definitely be there okay the poem centers around the experience of swinging on birches the straighter darker trees represent fact and fancy normality and boring nature of everyday life huge trees and foliage authoritarian father so normality and boring nature of everyday life what is the arched trunk of birch compared to in the poem arched trunk like girls sitting on their hands and knees third is the right answer tempest may important beta mask scene banquet scene these two scenes are very much important prospero's talk about impermanence of world that is also very important okay uh, how ferdinand and miranda confess their love to each other that is very important okay you will definitely get questions from these i like to think some boy has been swinging them what does i like to think suggest the speaker's philosophy of life is dream certainty or imagination it is speaker's imagination okay what is the inner dome of heaven compared to heap of broken glass broken ice broken birches none of the above yes it is heap of broken ice which looks like gra uh, glass ma'am do we need to learn conservation about conserve conversation about juno ceres and all see you need not to learn exact lines from the text but yes you should know what they say in their speeches okay what what does juno bless them with what does ceres bless them with it is easy for you to learn because ceres was the goddess of agriculture and fertility so that is why she is blessing them abundance of everything abundance of grains food you know everything juno uh, blesses them with uh, uh, never ending love prosperity joy so that is important ma'am ha so this is what is there ma'am can i leave to build a fire why why do you want to leave to build a fire see if you have if you have not been able to do the whole story thoroughly at least practice some mcqs okay practice them from uh, net or if you have any sample paper you can go through that and uh, ma'am will to build a fire come as a choosing means in choice uh, see you can never say that एंड आई डोंट थिंक सो मुझे नहीं लगता है कि टू बिल्ड अ फायर आपके लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन में आनी चाहिए टू बिल्ड अ फायर से शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन जरूर आ सकता है कैन वी राइट इन आर ओन वर्ड और अ कोर्ट इज रिक्वायर्ड सी यू कैन राइट योर आंसर इन अर इन योर ओन वर्ड राधर यू शुड राइट इन योर ओन वर्ड ओके इफ यू रिमेंबर अ कोर्ट अगर आपको कोई लाइन याद आ जाती है तो आप उसको डाल दीजिए अगर वो रेलिवेंट है इन रेलिवेंट कोर्ट आर नॉट एट ऑल वेलकम्ड irrelevant quotes are not welcome chaliye hurriedly let us finish these uh, what is symbolic of confusions in life cobwebs cobwebs which type of imagery is used in the line one eye is weeping this is kinesthetic uh, type of imagery for how long does the poet want to climb a birch till the tree falls till the tree could bear no more yes this has been given in the poem till the tree could be a no more what is the message of the poem to live childhood to the fullest to escape the earth forever to escape realities to balance our earthly duties with spiritual aspirations fourth is the answer to balance ma'am kuch to build a fire ki question bata do beta i have already made a separate video on important questions on reverie and echoes please follow that video 
there is a separate video on important questions on the tempest and in that i have also explained in what way you are supposed to answer 5 marks and 10 marks question please go through that you will get all important questions you do only those important questions they are more than sufficient for you to do okay jo maine aapko every echoes aur tempest mein important questions bataye hain in do separate videos mein aap unko kar lijiye usi mein se aayega right in and you know these mcqs which i am discussing with you these are just for your revision okay mcq can be from anywhere and these are a bit difficult type of okay because children may have a problem in these that's why i am discussing this in the poem what is the act of swinging symbolize the desire for radical political changes the desire to change society escape reality the desire to escape reality the desire to escape reality yes in the poem what happens when the branches are bent too far they break they snap they remain bent they grow in another direction they remain bent right okay complete the following sentences the poet realizes that swinging has not bent the birches because swinging cannot bend them down to stay as ice storms do the birches turn multicolored after the snowfall because the sunlight is reflected through the ice on them the poet wants to return to the earth because earth is the right place for love the poet dreams to be a swinger of birches because he wants temporary escape from worldly considerations now please understand these three four questions which i have given on completion of sentences is just to give you an idea how to answer them you know you have to write the direct reason go to direct reason okay don't write very long answers for these these are one markers only they have only one point you just write it down right now look at some questions from uh, the from the poem crossing the bar to the poet uses the dash of sand bar to describe the barrier between life and death a uh, metaphor of sandbar uses metaphor of sandbar uh, ma'am language didn't go well ma'am language acha nahi gaya koi baat nahi beta literature jayega don't worry literature will balance that forget about language now you must focus on your literature paper which is there tomorrow okay aur aapko aisa lag raha hoga acha nahi gaya you never know you must have attempted all questions you will be able to do decently now please don't think about it you just think about your uh, literature paper now what is the mood of the poet in the poem crossing the bar anxious mournful optimistic sad now see sometimes when you are not able to know the answer always see which are the options that cannot be there first of all anxious to bilkul nahi hai mournful matlab sad bhi nahi hai another sad bhi nahi hai to fir kya bacha optimistic must be the answer mcqs mein you should know this strategy also sometimes when you are not able to know the answer you just start thinking in reverse order which are the options that can't be there okay whose clear call does the poet refer to uh, his death what do the sunset and evening star represent his old age okay what is the literal meaning of sound and form sound and form actually means doubts and confusions mm, no doubts and fears sounds and waves to hai nahi sound of waves be nahi hai doubts and confusions yeah uh what is the word boundless deep symbolize eternity whom does the word pilot refer to it refers to god right so i couldn't finish with it uh, only one question i could the poet the poet uses the phrase morning of the bar to depict the crashing of the tides on sand because he wants to highlight that the death of an individual becomes the cause of sorrow and despair for others right yes yes dhruvi this video will be there and uh, you can revise these questions okay so children just this was just to give you an idea uh these questions were just to give you an idea how to answer these one markers now i'll take for another 10 minutes i'll take some questions you can ask if if something is important ma'am in workbook it's written doubts and fear didn't i say doubts and fear thank you ma'am language theek gaya language bhool jao bachcha 
आई वॉन्ट यू टू फोकस ऑन लिटरेचर नाउ दैट्स गुड इफ इट इट इफ इट वॉज गुड मैम इसके बाद आप क्या करा रहे हो नो दिस इज वॉट ऑल आई वॉन्टेड टू टेल यू मैम आई कॉन्ट फाइंड द टेम्पेस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वीडियो सी दिस यू विल फाइंड दैट अंडर लाइव आई वेंट लाइव फॉर दैट लाइव में जो टेम्पेस्ट हमने डिस्कस किया है उसमें आई हैव गिवन ऑल इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ओके हाँ यू गो अंडर दोज वीडियोज विच आर देर इन लाइव द फर्स्ट लाइव स्ट्रीमिंग आई डेड अबाउट टेम्पेस्ट ओनली बी वर्ड्स वर्थ इज एन एस्केपिस्ट येस ही इज येस ही इज एन एस्केपिस्ट बिकॉज ही ऑलवेज आइसोलेटेड हिमसेल्फ फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड ही डिड नॉट रिवील हिज आइडेंटिटी टू एनी बडी इवन टू द बॉय टू होम ही वॉज सो क्लोज मैम इफ यू डू एम सी क्यूज ऑफ टू बिल्ड अ फायर एंड नॉट लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन विल इट बी ओके हाँ हाँ सी एम सी क्यूज तो यू विल हैव टू डू यू डोंट हैव एनी चॉइस नहीं लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन आप किसको बोल रहे हो टेन मार्कर में आपको चॉइस आएगा फाइव मार्क्स में आपको चॉइस नहीं आएगा बेटा तो वो करना तो पड़ेगा द फीचर्स ऑफ बर्ड आर इन ट्यून विद द सोल सिंग्स ऑफ जॉय कमेंट द फीचर्स ऑफ द बर्ड आर इन ट्यून विद द सोल सिंग्स ऑफ जॉय आई एम नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड योर क्वेश्चन हाउ टू प्रिपेयर द साउंड मशीन चैप्टर रीड द स्टोरी रीड द स्टोरी बेटा and themes see you must be having the workbook let me tell you you must be having the workbook whichever workbook you have that way xavier pinto is the best one that that's my personal choice and read uh, themes critical appreciation okay critical comments of all chapters stories poems this is how you can revise at this time only reading can help you beta nothing else okay uh is 150 to 200 words enough for 5 marks yes yes i told you okay for every chapter for every story and poem now you read about the themes about the background about the critical appreciation setting if it is a story setting characters this is what ma'am b words what is an escapist thoda acche se clear kijiye please beta escapist is the one who is not able to face the situation and who always tries to escape from it from the reality b wordsworth is a person who has never revealed his identity he always remains isolated even he doesn't reveal his identity to the boy with whom he shares such a beautiful bond of friendship okay so uh, of course he can be called an escapist how much words for 10 marks for 10 marks there is no word limit you can explain it as much as you want but the points should be clear ma'am should we keep the language as simple or use phrases etc keep simple language it should be error proof you can make short and simple sentences ma'am will we have to prepare appropriation of the titles of poem and uh, stories no 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 need for that but for your reference if, if it, in your answer you want to write that is okay but title ke appropriateness par i don't think you will get a question see most of your questions let me tell you stories or tempest se jo bhi questions aayenge five marks ke question aapke sare situation based honge situation based means incident based incident based means what happens in that story okay so they will be based on that but 10 markers will be like you know which will be based on theme uh, or something beyond the text where you need to understand the things so 10 markers are going to be a bit tricky ma'am min minimum one page for 10 marks yeah one page is sufficient one page is sufficient one one and half page will be sufficient if you are if you want to have a rough idea again i am telling you it is about the points and relevance of points okay not number of points relevance of points aap us baat ko prove karne ke liye kitne relevant points dete hain is baat ke aap is hisab se aapko marks milenge right All right, children. Now I think you must focus on reading, reading, and only reading. Ma'am, can you please, in a nutshell, discuss the themes of all the chapters? Beta, uh, for this also I have told you. आपके book में हर chapter से पहले जो writer का introduction दिया है, उसमें last paragraph is about uh, that particular chapter and it tells all important themes. 
ओके बाई ओनली डूइंग इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बाई यू कैन आई स्कोर फुल एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड द सिलेबस येस आई एम वेरी मच श्योर इफ यू डू ओनली दोज क्वेश्चन विच आई हैव टोल्ड यू आई एम वेरी मच श्योर यू विल गेट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दैम ओनली ओके प्लीज डू दोज क्वेश्चन मैम कैन यू प्लीज इन हाँ थीम्स बेटा मैंने आपको बता दिया है कि जो आपके टेक्स्ट बुक में पहले दिया है जस्ट रीड दैट शुड बी फोकस ऑन लेंथ और पॉइंट टू पॉइंट लिखने इन फाइव मार्क्स इन फाइव मार्क्स your answer must be to the point okay uh, if they what ariel says to three men of sin should we have to describe the full banquet scene no 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 only ariel's speech only ariel's speech should be described in that describe the importance of mask see it was just a kind of spectacle which he wanted to offer to ferdinand and miranda to show the vanity of his art uh, prospero wanted to show the vanity of his art to ferdinand and that's why he had that mass mass was a kind of celebration which was held on some important occasion so prospero is trying to celebrate the love of ferdinand and miranda that is why he has that mask ma'am can we read only the summaries character analysis and themes of eco yes because there is no time left yes yes that's what i am telling you beta ki aap please jo workbook hai usse themes summary ye sab pad lijiye wo sufficient hai Ma'am, why Dover Beach is a dramatic monologue? Because only one person, the speaker only is speaking. There is no other. It's not a dialogue. Monologue when one person speaks. So only the speaker, one speaker, the poet himself is speaking in that poem. That's why it's a dramatic monologue. Ma'am, at least four questions he करना है ना. At last four questions he करना है ना. Four questions मतलब आपको सारे sections करने हैं. Tempest से आपको दो five marks के question और एक ten marks का करना है. फिर आपको पोएट्री से टू माइक फाइव मार्क्स क्वेश्चन एंड वन टेन मार्क्स क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू अटेम्प एंड सेम इज विद फ्रॉम स्टोरी आल्सो सो इन अ वे यू विल बी डूइंग फाइव टू सिक्स फाइव मार्क्स क्वेश्चंस एंड थ्री टेन मार्क्स क्वेश्चंस ओके सृष्टि वाई आर यू कंफ्यूज अबाउट इट बेटा ओके सो चिल्ड्रन आई थिंक नाउ इट्स टाइम दैट आई शुड एंड दिस इट्स एट प्लीज रिवाइज please read from your workbooks and if you uh, have uh, any doubts you can always ask me or you put it in the comment box i'll answer your questions right again i am telling you i have already made videos on important questions do those questions they are sufficient for you okay thank you so much all the very best don't get nervous be confident i know you all are going to rock it you'll do that right you'll do everything bye bye all of you thank you so much do well work hard study hard but yes i would like to tell you take proper sleep take proper sleep now it is 8 o'clock uh, study till 12 o'clock okay and then get up 8 o'clock in the morning and then again you study till 12 and you know uh, you must be knowing how much time it takes you to reach the center so accordingly okay 2 3 hours you study in the morning